Welcome to Sunday Chat, episode two. How are you guys doing? Um, today we're gonna be talking about coping with postpartum depression, but first I wanna give you an update that I had my son on my birthday, March 28th, and he'll be one month on the 28th of April, and I am happy. So far I've learned how to juggle, you know, three kids with the help of my husband. Um, my first is five years old. He's gonna be graduating kindergarten this June. I am so happy, or in May. Actually he graduates in May, but we're gonna actually gonna be going to summer school for one month in June. And um, my three-year-old, he'll be four at the end of this year, December 21st, and we are struggling with the potty training thing. So if you have any tips on potty training a boy, please, at the bottom below, give me some tips on potty training, because I really want to have him fully potty trained before he turns four this December. Um, with my first son, we did struggle with the potty training thing too, but alhamdulillah for my dad-in-law, he potty trained him within four to five days, and he was off of diapers and pull-ups. So alhamdulillah for that. Um, what? Mm, I guess sidetrack. That's part of postpartum. <laughs> you, um, during my pregnancy, I was forgetful for so many times, and I still feel like after I had my baby, I'm still a little forgetful, but alhamdulillah, I'm get, getting back to myself, and that's most important. But anywho, here's some tips on coping with postpartum depression. Get lots of rest. Um, sometimes you're not able to get lots of rest, but a nap can go a long way. Once the baby sleeps, take a nap too. And if it's your first baby, then hopefully you have help of family members, friends, or your husband, or your partner, or your boyfriend, or someone that's supportive of you. Um, also too, um, take a nap when the baby naps. If you have multiple children, then it's good if, um, uh, um, husband stays up and you get a little nap in that's what I do I have two boys so he takes them to the park or he takes them outside or he plays with them does an activity with them and I'm able to get an hour or two hours nap in and I feel rejuvenated to be with my baby and alhamdulillah you know he helps me out with the infant too so get lots of rest because you're it's really needed eat a healthy diet um, I know everyone eats differently but um, if you are breastfeeding, it is good to, you know, drink tea, orange juice, water, uh, milk, anything that um, gets you, you know, pumping for your milk. Um, and, yeah, keep, keep fluids in, you know, so you don't get dehydrated. Me, I've been drinking a lot of water, a lot of orange juice. Orange juice has been my thing. And lemonade. I love lemonade. And tea. And uh, I love my coffee, but I do limit my coffee at least like once a day or once every other day. Yeah. Exercise regularly. Um, it, it could be walking. Me, I clean my home a lot. I'm kind of a neat freak, so I like everything organized. I like everything to be clean and neat. So that's one thing about myself. And uh, so that's part of my exercise. If it could be vacuuming or sweeping or whatever it may be, I'm moving around. And... Um, Taking a walk outside is me, but inshallah in the next month, May, I do want to like exercise. I think I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to take a yoga class, core yoga. So you're kind of like, you know, um, got sidetracked again, but I'm going to take core yoga. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah. Like I said, support a friend, family, whomever that you are close to. You can ask them for help. Um, Alhamdulillah, I have some great sisters that live here in Orange County that, you know, visited me and brought me food over. So that saved me from having to cook. Um, stuff like that, go, is, it goes a long way. That's like my slogan. It goes a long way. <laughs> I got all these slogans. Avoid stress. That is my number one thing, avoid stress. It could be news. If you cry during news or news stress you out, limit the amount of news you watch. Um, limit the amount of certain things that you watch on TV. Eliminate the phone calls. If you're a phone person and people are calling you, you know, limit like, do you really want to hear that drama or do you really want to give that advice? If you're able to, alhamdulillah. But if you're not, then, you know, text and say, you know, I really don't want to hear, hear anything right now. You know, I'm trying to stay peaceful. Me, I am not a phone person, so I do text message and majority of the time it is positive. So um, don't really like the drama. And then when I do have drama, I do know how to deal with it. Because I'm a really bold, kind of straightforward person anyways. And I talk to you. I will talk to the person in person. 
and yeah so that's how i get down but um yeah avoid stress um stress and then having a little newborn and then if you have other kids it does you're going to be tired and, th and that's the number one cause for you to go into depression make time to go out yes um, once a week so far since i have my son i've went out so if it was for an hour or an hour and a half i take a little break away and alhamdulillah i'm able to pump milk so i pump my milk and leave it with my husband he feeds the baby and he takes care of the kids i'm able to leave and go take a break i also you know go to my halakha with my beautiful sisters and that's a great getaway also too so find something that you love to do and get out and take a break without your children you'll feel rejuvenated you'll miss your home you miss your husband and your kids and everyone and you're strong enough to get through the day find time for yourself yes for me nighttime so once i put my kids down to sleep at eight o'clock because my son has school in the morning i just have my second son following the routine of my kindergartner and um i put them down to sleep and then i just have my little newborn i have my nighttime i watch my favorite shows or i paint my nails sometimes no nail polish today but sometimes paint my nails or manicure pedicure um draw paint i find things that i like to do and i do them and it's your alone time or read a book. And one thing that's motivational, I love, I've been loving reading quotes, Google it. Inspirational quotes, inspiring quotes, anything, um, you know, motivational quotes helps. Keep a journal of your feelings. I used to love to write in journals, but I no longer do. But um, that's a great way to, you know, juggle your thoughts. Discuss your feelings with others. If you have a trusted friend, I usually talk to my husband. Um, if you have a trusted friend right like that and you're going through, share your feelings and how you feel. If you're frustrated, like, you know what, I'm really frustrated. I really can't handle this right now. Could I have a little help? I need a little break. Whatever you're feeling, whatever like that, it's always good to share your feelings to get that off your chest because that also causes stress. And if you're feeling anything, as I was told at the um, hospital, if you're feeling anything that you feel like you're going into deep depression and you feel that um, all the tips that I gave you and all the tips that the hospital gave you does not work, talk to your doctor personally and you know they can come up with a solution for you connect with a support group yes um i find it a lot more inspiring inspiring when i hang out with my uh friends my sisters that has kids because they know what i'm going through my married couple friends or something like that we skype or we have a play date and yes hanging out with um people that have common interests with you or have kids um, support group um, also too if someone has a newborn um, I have a couple friends that had um, that had babies last year and also had babies this year alhamdulillah and I have like um, family that's having that had babies this year and actually have a good friend that's having a baby by the end of this year and a cousin in law that's having a baby this year so yeah it was, it was it's been a lot of babies um, can't even keep track but alhamdulillah for all these blessings and um, that can be your support group. So for me, that's my support group, my family, my friends who have babies that are being born this year. And um, call them, text them, you know, share your feelings and uh, frustrations. Give advice and tips if they do ask or whatsoever like that. So that is my tips of coping with the postpartum depression. And stay tuned for um, other episodes. You are able to ask me questions down below this video. Give me suggestions on you know, videos that you would like me to um, cover or something like that. I know it took a while for me to um, do my second episode, but I will be doing, you know, um, either every Sunday or every other Sunday. So I'll be either doing four Sundays or two Sundays um, of chatting about anything and everything. But um, yeah, but being a mom is kind of hard. I Every day I'm moving and doing something. So sometimes it's hard for me to like, tackle and get a video in but um i appreciate all the subscribers i appreciate everyone that does email me i appreciate my facebook inboxes i appreciate my um direct message uh and instagram i appreciate everybody you know um their feedback their positive um positive comments you know everything you know i'm 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 very thankful because with my youtube channel all i want to do you know is inspire motivate and you know send a message out there every time i can so stay tuned to my next sunday chat 
and make today a beautiful day because your choice of your attitude going out the door. Bye.